Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video. Today I am going to be doing every single troop versus an all flamethrower base. Now this was uh, suggested by uh, GZYT over on our Discord server. So if you guys have any uh, YouTube video suggestions, hop on over to our server. Link in the description. Chris and I are going to be running some tournaments and giveaways too. So, uh, you know, some incentives to go join. Come say hello. But anyway, let's hop in into it. Okay guys, so this is the flamethrower base I made on uh on the Hammerman base builder. It took me a couple seconds uh, and there's some holes in it, but that's no problem because I need every advantage I can get. So we're starting off with Rifleman. Now I don't plan on using my heroes this, uh, this video, but if I accidentally do drop it down, I'm not gonna use the ability. I brought Dr. Kavan, which will bring a little bit of healing to my troops, but uh, I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. Now uh, our battle is about to start here and what I think I have to do is shock throw two shocks onto the beach once we do get our rifleman down there we go we kept the hero in our uh, in our loading dock or whatever you want to call that but uh, right away those riflemen took quite a bit of damage from the flamethrowers we got our shocks out and some med kits but now this is going to be a tough run I don't think we're going to be able to defeat it with riflemen uh, or heavies but I think the first troop I do plan on getting a victory victory with will be the Zookas because all I have to do is make sure um, we shock the flamethrowers on the beach and then once they do get that room um, I think they will arrange the rest of the flamethrowers. I know some tend, tend to step into it but we'll see if we're able to do it today and it looks like we got decently far into this base and our riflemen will on Unfortunately, die. Just get a couple more buildings. Make it look a little bit better than uh, the attack actually was. Throw two. Ooh, uh, there, there's some weak flamethrowers. So there we go. Uh, almost was able to get to the HQ there. Fell a little bit short. But there goes our rifleman attack onto the heavies. Okay, guys, we have our heavies loaded up, and they are uh, they are getting a little antsy to attack this base. So this time, since there is uh, kind of gaps in the flamethrowers, I will drop my troops on the left side of the beach, and hopefully they will do fine. Now, heavies are known for taking a ton of flamethrower damage, uh, especially in one of the uh, in the better times of Boom Beach when they had those awesome commercials, Boom Beach. I wish you came out with commercials still. Those were extremely entertaining and fun to watch, but they just completely got obliterated by like flamethrowers, boom cannons, and uh, mine fields. Now, looking at this, I'm going to get some med kits down because our heavies are nearing around half HP, and as our, our, as our shock bombs are getting ever uh, so more expensive. Um, we're gonna throw some critters out looks like they're doing a good job But what I'm gonna do is a reposition flare so they're not so spread out throw a couple med kits and then we do have 68 energy to spare so I'm gonna throw out a couple shock bombs here we're doing better than I was expecting with this but as you guys can see my heavies are getting extremely low here so uh, we, I'm not sure how much more they can take of these flamethrowers, but they're getting very close to the HQ here. And, oh man, they are just starting to die off now. I'm going to get one more shock bomb down, and that should take out a lot of flamethrowers. But now, I'm going to start investing in some barrages and artilleries. Maybe I should start off this strategy and uh, by doing that, but... It looks like our last few troops will be taken out here. Unfortunate. I thought my heavies were going to get it for a second there, but throwing a couple more artillery, uh, we will be able to take out a few more flamethrowers. But there we go. Attack is over. But now uh, I'm excited to try out the Zookas. They're going to do a lot better than the heavies, so we'll see you there. 
Ooh, that was a quick one loading up because I always have an AZ preset ready, but I am going to be doing what I said where I'm going to throw down our Zookas, but we're going to get some shock bombs onto the beach. It looks like one of the flamethrowers is still up. I'm going to counteract that damage with a med kit. Hopefully it does its job, but they are taking quite a bit of damage. How are we looking? Looks like they're starting to outrange it. Every time I see a flamethrower starting to hit my zookas i'm gonna try and get a med kit out uh try and keep them zookas alive and it looks like they're doing a great job outranging it but every once in a while you'll see a zooka or two step up just a little bit too far and uh now that we're kind of going into this attack i'm gonna let them spread out as much as they want so we can get as much energy as we can we are well over 100 the med kits are getting uh more and more expensive by the second tier but we are just letting our Zookas thin out a little bit and now I'm gonna start throwing some critters so that if the Zookas do step into the range um, the flamethrowers will be a little bit distracted so Zookas are gonna absolutely decimate the remainder of this base we have a ton of barrage and artillery potential I'm gonna invest it and uh, throw it on onto those flamethrowers it looks like we got a free hq now so we're gonna pick up our first victory and uh i don't know what troop is next actually i think it might be warriors might be tanks uh so one thing i'm not gonna be able to do med medics so i guess not every troop but uh, uh now that i think about it but you know let's hop into the next one Okay, guys, so you might get mad at me for this one, but since the next troop is a Warriors, we are going to take another victory here, and we are just going to do Smoky Warriors. So I'm going to throw down our smokes on the beach there, try and get them all covered as they do land, and then uh, get to a common flamethrower there. I probably used two more smokes than I really needed to, but once a couple flamethrowers start uh, hitting the Warriors, uh, the... Oh no, I dropped Brick. I think she's gonna die though. I just spam clicked it too much. Is she gonna burn to death? I don't know. Just to make sure we're gonna throw an extra artillery. And now we only have a couple GBE. Enough for two shock bombs. But we should be able to destroy this one. So boom. Quick battle there. I'm happy. Uh, so we have two victories, two losses with our troops so far. And we are gonna hop into the next troop here. So after Warriors, we do have tanks loaded up. We are going to be taking out this base with all tanks. Uh, might get a little bit sketchy on the landing here, but uh, tanks are tanks. So I don't think... Uh, oh, I dropped Brick again. Um, another Jimmy fail. I'm just going to let it be. Uh, I, I did have Kavan, but with my AZ preset, I do have... Uh, I do have brick battle orders loaded up, so that's kind of unfortunate, but our tanks are mega range, so, um, you know, they'll just stand behind. It would be a victory nonetheless, and uh, looking at this, tank's getting a great spread, and sooner or later here, I'm just going to start throwing some barrages, try and take out the flamethrowers quicker, so uh, we can get into the more intense battles. So I think the next troop is medic, so we'll skip, and uh, I'm not sure what's after that. Could be grenadiers, could be cryoneers, either way, I'm excited for that. Grenadiers will be interesting because they won't do a lot of damage, but they are ranged, so if we can survive the beach, we will be able to survive that's the attack and as we're just throwing artillery um, uh, periodically here we'll just take out these flamethrowers quite a bit quicker and look at that 25 GBE for a an artillery uh, very expensive but um, they like to hit the flamethrowers so we're getting a lot of energy in return brick didn't even die a little bit sad for that uh, I feel I feel like I kind of cheated a little bit but not really and now we are gonna hop into the next one I think this was the first battle we didn't lose a single troop so good job tanks you so far are the leaders of this every troop versus a flamethrower base 
Okay guys, here we are with our grenadiers all loaded up. So what I'm gonna do for the landing, I'm gonna shock two areas and I might have to throw a third one here as I missed two flamethrowers that might have been able to hit my grenadiers. I'm gonna have to reinforce a couple shock bombs right away as uh, those flamethrowers are still somewhat in range of the grenadiers. This attack I didn't throw down brick, so I'm happy for that, uh, but um here we go looks like it's already gonna be a victory our grenadiers have the range and uh that's the only thing the beach landing is the only thing you really have to worry about with this one so i'm gonna throw a few barrages out should get a lot of damage onto those um onto those flame throwers here and then we'll start throwing our artillery out and our grenadiers they're going to be trying to take out these flamethrowers doing a great job but you guys see them throwing way past uh the flamethrowers so pretty inaccurate i have 123 gbe i can't i can't spend it fast enough here i'm just going to throw a bunch of critters not the most ideal gbe ability against flamethrowers but you know uh, especially with grenadiers, they just go and take out their little friends there, but life of being a grenadier. Another quick battle here, and uh, next troop we do have Scorchers. This one's going to be interesting. Scorchers tank a lot, um, but it will be the flamethrower, so I'm excited to try it out. Here we are on my Hot Pot Wannabe base, aka all flamethrowers, and I have brought the Scorchers, 8 Scorchers, let's see whose flames are more effective against each other. It's like a portable flamethrower versus flamethrower here, so we're gonna spread out our Scorchers. I have faith in our Scorchers, I know flamethrowers do a lot of damage, but like, uh, you know, Scorchers, they, they have a few health points on you guys, um, so... Uh, looking at it so far, none of our Scorchers taken too much damage here, and they've already they've already gotten pretty far into this base. Uh, I'm just gonna let them play out. I'm not gonna spend any GBE. I have faith in my Scorchers, and I kind of like just zooming out, looking at all the mayhem there. Just a ton of flames. You know, the one the one uh, the one negative to this battle is. Since everyone is attacking with flames, it's probably pretty warm out there. So the village people, you know, in in that HQ, they're they're chilling. You know, I I, I would hope they have, I I hope they have air conditioning, but it, it's getting pretty pretty warm out there. I hear them screaming. They just want to be free. I'm gonna free all them, and we might lose a scorcher or two here. Getting pretty low, but I I see a lot at the top there that are just gonna start uh, pouring into that HQ. Now the people in there are like, oh no, wish we had more air conditioning here, but Scorchers, you know, we're just trying to get you out of there and uh, we're gonna take it out. Looks like we did lose our first Scorcher and boom, there we go. On to the next battle as you see the natives and warriors, all of them, builders and such, uh, they're, they're free now. They're going through the destruction zone. We have freed you, my friends, and we had to fight fire with fire. So we fought fire with fire, but now it's it's time to see if fighting fire with ice is more effective here. So before we do drop down our crying ears, throw those two shock bombs, let them get positioned, let them flag. And I really wish I had like private bullet on this attack because I need a little bit extra damage. I need some tank. And uh, <laughs> looking at these crying ears so far, um, we, uh, we're gonna make the conclusion that fighting fire with fire is currently more effective than fighting fire with ice. Although, um, they haven't taken out a single building, but they're doing, there we go, first one, first point, second one, there we go, they're starting to pick up, and, uh, the fire is starting to kill them. We spent all our energy right away, and now we gotta get some medkits out of there. How come, how come the buildings in front are the ones standing and not behind? Uh, that that will be a mystery to me for a while, but how far back do they stand? It looks like they step right into range of the flamethrowers kind of inconvenient But as they stand back more they will only have like one or two flamethrowers hidden on them at once So we're gonna get a med kit out there. I see two struggling to stay alive looks like they're gonna die and um, You know this attacks it, it's coming to a halt here, and I, I wish the slow effect 
uh, wasn't on because I just want to move on to the next one and uh, just to troll my crying ears for not being as effective as uh, Scorchers. We're just going to throw them into the heat and see if they can survive and boom looks like all of our crying ears are dead i kind of killed them at the end there because of my uh roid rage but we are just gonna hop into the next attack here we've made it to our final battle we have eight uh bombardiers i almost said crying ears but we have eight bombardiers cooked up here and uh it's gonna be kind of uh the same attack as tanks and zookas here is we're gonna have to shock the beach uh flamethrowers and then as soon as they do get situated uh, they 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 got some range on them so um it's gonna be good game for this base those shock bombs are running out i'm gonna reinforce two of them as they did take some flamethrower damage but we have yet to lose a bombardier and now i see they have stepped back they are out of range and this base is gonna be toast um you know all flamethrower base their range is this is just uh so short that the battles are essentially uh predetermined except for scorchers that one i was the that that was the only battle i was kind of unsure on because you know they take a lot of score they take a lot of um flamethrower damage but they're pretty tanky so looking at our bombardiers here a couple are you know they they have a sliver of health missing so we're just gonna throw some med kits heal them up and now uh one of my favorite troops in the game are just gonna take out the final lines of flamethrowers as we do bar down that hq help them out as we have uh, nearly finished this video so there we go barrage artillery finished it out good job bombardiers you have proved the troops that lost wrong but that's going to be it for me today no bombardiers lost um i'm happy for that i thought a couple were going to die on the beach but again this was suggested by gzyt over on our discord thank you for your suggestion hopefully you did enjoy it go check out that link in the description but we'll see you in tomorrow's boom beach video Bye bye